Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out another micro stack from HackRC. This is the F4 Fly Tower, uh, another 20x20 20 20, uh, 401 ESC plus F4 flight controller. Uh, the 401 ESC is not terribly interesting. It's a 20 amp uh, 2 4 s LiPo BL Heli S, uh, not 32. Uh, so it does D-Shot 600. Um, pretty basic here. And uh, this one does come with the micro connectors. Uh, if you want to use that instead of the pins, if you don't like the pins, they go to the flight controller like uh, the King Kong stack, Get RC stack, the HGLRC stack. If you don't like the pins and you would rather have the wiring loom, and the wiring looms are included by the way, if you would rather have that, then there's a wiring loom that goes from here to over here to connect up your flight controller, and that's um, uh, you know kind of a more I guess the way they used to be they used to come. So if you prefer that, this is. Uh, one of the few stacks that are coming out these days that have the wiring loom. But the more interesting part here is going to be the flight controller. Uh, you know, F4 flight controller, uh, Betaflight OSD, it's got the MPU 6000, uh, pretty, you know, uh, all around good specs. Uh, as I mentioned, it's got the wiring loom that goes to your ESC. Uh, it does have a pin connector, and I, but I don't know what part this goes to. Uh, probably another HackRC ESC that does the pin connector. It's available to you if you want that. But I haven't seen that part yet. But I'll just be using the wire loom, obviously, with the 401 EC that I have here. Uh, this flight controller has a, a ton of connections to it. And I'm not sure if I can get the camera to focus on all these. But, for example, over here you have uh, ground 5 volts, uh, RX6, TX6, SCL, and SDA. So this uh, port over here you can potentially connect up a GPS and, and compass to. Uh, this flight controller, uh, while it does come with, with Betaflight, is iNav compatible, so this could be something you want, might want to use for uh, with iNav on a multi rotor or a plane, probably more likely a plane. And then on this side here, we have our connections for our receiver and our buzzer and LED, and uh, those are also labeled on the back side here. You got SBUS 3.3 volts, 5 volts, and ground, so you, this will connect up to your regular SBUS receivers and also your DSMX receivers. And then over here you got your buzzer, LED, 5 volts ground for that. And then you have additional solder pads over here. And here you have SCL2, SDA2, TX3, RX3, and you have TX1 and RX1 over here. So plenty of things to connect to. And also right there is a solder pad for your RSSI, analog RSSI. If you have a receiver that puts out analog RSSI, you could also connect up there. Or um, if you want to do some um, resource remapping, you can convert this into a current sensor port, which is, an, I don't believe, broken down anywhere else on this board. So this one has a lot more uh, things you can connect to if you have a lot of devices, uh, like GPS and other devices, etc. They use up uh, UARTs, uh, Smart Audio, for example. This is definitely one of the microsacks that has a lot of connections that you can make. On top of all that, this also has a barometer as well. That's right there. So obviously that's one of the things you'll need for iNav. So uh, I don't know of any other micro 20 by 20 boards that have a barometer. This is one of the few of them that are out there. Yeah, if anyone out there knows of another iNav compatible um, flight controller as a 20 by 20 micro size, yeah, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, it's going to do for this uh, little overview of the HackRC Flytower F4. I will be putting this into the uh, Airblade Eclair Light 3 inch frame and I'm going to be using this for uh, motor testing and stuff, so if you want to see how this performs, uh, stay tuned for that video. Eventually I will put a card in the corner and you guys can click on that video. Uh, if you're watching this in the video in the far future, then you can just click that card and watch the video with this flight stack in it and see how this performs with uh, that particular model. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.